Hey guys, Dr. Berg here. I want to answer the question, why does menopause trigger high androgen levels? A lot of women going into menopause or postmenopause end up having these high levels of androgen. So I want to talk about that. Uh, here are the symptoms of high androgen levels. Male pattern baldness, okay, up here. Alopecia, which is patches of hair that come out at different places. Polycystic ovarian syndrome. It's acne, facial hair, and hair loss. Deep voice, too. Infertility, deep voice, oily skin, skin inflammation, increased sex drive. Okay, so these are some of the symptoms in a female body. So what causes? Well, it's not that menopause will trigger um, high androgens, but really what happens is this. Your, your insulin levels go up. That's really what causes polycystic ovarian syndrome. The insulin levels go up and then you start converting all this, this male hormone, which is androgen. And this can come from um, a couple reasons. One, maybe you're eating a lot of sugar, but maybe you're not. Maybe it's during menopause, the ovaries uh, stop working and then the adrenal gland backs up the ovaries. So the adrenal gland is the backup to the ovary. And what happens, um, when you get this sudden spike of cortisol, which is a stress hormone at menopause because the adrenals are overacting to try to make up the, the hormone loss, it can then convert into insulin. Okay, so that's really the mechanism, mechanism with that. So then high cortisol directly, because high cortisol coming from stress will cause high levels of androgen. Okay. Now, um, also this thing here I want to talk about, decreased sex hormone binding globulin. Now, what the heck does that mean? It's this SHBG, okay? This basically is a protein in the liver that helps buffer and regulate androgens. It keeps androgen in check. It keeps androgen low, okay? So this protein is supposed to keep androgen low, but when you have a problem with the liver, you decrease SHBG, and now androgen goes up because it can't regulate it anymore. So that protein that keeps it in check doesn't do its job. So then we get a spike of androgen, okay? But this is the most interesting thing. During menopause, the body stops releasing estrogen faster than it stops releasing androgens, okay? So in a female body, you have this testosterone and estrogen level, always kind of balanced. And and your ovaries make these two hormones, and so do your adrenals. So during menopause, when the ovaries go in retirement, we get this huge spike, a huge drop of estrogen, but the drop in androgen is not quite great, as great as estrogen. So we have this relative high ratio of high androgen to low estrogen ratio. So it makes it so it appears that you have more um, androgen so it's not necessarily that it triggers, it just basically you end up with high because the estrogen goes way, way too far, okay? So I just wanted to kind of explain why you might be having these symptoms, and I put some links down below on what you need to do. You know, you need to correct your insulin, your adrenals, your liver. Those are the most important things, okay? Thanks for watching. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Please click the subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video.